Yashar, Jasher, 23. At that time, the word of Yahuwah came to Avraham, and he said unto him, Avraham, and he said, Here I am. And he said to him, Take now your son, your Yahid, whom you love, even Yitzhak, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which shall be shown to you. For there will you see a cloud and the glory of Yahuwah. And Avraham said within himself, How shall I separate my son Yitzhak from Sarah his mother in order to bring him up for a burnt offering before Yahuwah? And Avraham came into the tent, and he sat before Sarah his woman, and he spoke these words to her, My son Yitzhak is grown up, and he has not for some time studied the service of his Elohim. Now tomorrow I will go and bring him to Shem and Eber, his son, and there he will learn the ways of Yahuwah, for they will teach him to know Yahuwah, as well as to know that when he prays continually before Yahuwah, he will answer him. Therefore, there he will know the way of serving Yahuwah Eloheyu. And Sarah said, You have spoken well. Go, my Lord, and do unto him as you have said. But remove him not at a great distance from me, neither let him remain there too long, for my soul is bound within his soul. And Avraham said unto Sarah, My daughter, let us pray to Yahuwah Eloheinu, that he may do good with us. And Sarah took her son Yitzhak, and he abode all that night with her. And she kissed and embraced him, and gave him instructions till morning. And she said to him, O oh, my son, how can my soul separate itself from you? And she still kissed him and embraced him, and she gave Avraham instructions concerning him. And Sarah said to Avraham, O oh my Lord, I pray you take heed of your son, and place your eyes over him, for I have no other son nor daughter but him. O oh, forsake him not, if he be hungry give him bread, and if he be thirsty give him water to drink. Do not let him go on foot, neither let him sit in the sun, neither let him go by himself in the road, neither force him from whatsoever he may desire, but do unto him as he may say to you. And Sarah wept bitterly the whole night on account of Yitzhak, and she gave him instructions till morning. And in the morning, Sarah selected a very fine and beautiful garment from those garments which she had in the house that Avimelech had given to her. And she dressed Yitzhak, her son, therewith. And she put a turban upon his head. And she enclosed a precious stone in the top of the turban. And she gave them provision for the road, and they went forth. And Yitzhak went with his father, Avraham, and some of their servants accompanied them to see them off the road. And Sarah went out with them, and she accompanied them upon the road to see them off. And they said to her, Return to the tent. And when Sarah heard the words of her son Yitzhak, she wept bitterly. And Avraham, her man, wept with her, and their son wept with them a great weeping. Also, those who went with them wept greatly. And Sarah caught, caught hold of her son Yitzhak, and she held him in her arms. 
And she embraced him and continued to weep with him. And Sarah said, Who knows if after this day I shall ever see you again? And they still wept together, Avraham, Sarah, and Yitzhak. And all those that accompanied them on the road wept with them. And Sarah afterward turned away from her son, weeping bitterly. And all her men servants and maid servants returned with her to the tent. And Avraham went with Yitzhak his son to bring him up as an offering before Yahuwah, as he had commanded him. And Avraham took two of his young men with him, Yishmael the son of Hagar, and Eliezer his servant, and they went together with them. And while they were walking in the road, the young men spoke these words to themselves. And Yishmael said to Eliezer, Now my father Avraham is going with Yitzhak to bring him up for a burnt offering to Yahuwah, as he commanded him. Now when he returns, he will give unto me all that he possesses to inherit after him, for I am his firstborn. And Eliezer answered Yishmael and said, Surely Avraham did cast you away with your mother and swear that you should not inherit anything of all he possesses. And to whom will he give all that he has with all his treasures but unto me, his servant, who has been faithful in his house, who has served him night and day, and has done all that he desired me? To me will he bequeath all his death, all, rather, at his death, all that he possesses. And while Avraham was proceeding with his son Yitzhak along the road, Satan came and appeared to Avraham in the figure of a very aged man, humble and of a contrite ruach. And he approached Avraham and said to him, Are you silly or brutish that you go to do this thing this day to your yachid? For Elohim gave you a son in your latter days, in your old age, and will you go and slaughter him this day, because he committed no violence, and will you cause the soul of your, your Yahid to perish from the earth? Do you not know and understand that this thing cannot be from Yahuwah? For Yahuwah cannot do unto man such evil upon earth, to say to him, Go slaughter your child. And Avraham heard this and knew that it was the word of Satan, who endeavored to draw him aside from the way of Yahuwah. But Avraham would not hearken to the voice of Satan, and Avraham rebuked him so that he went away. And Satan returned and came to Yitzhak, and he appeared unto Yitzhak in the figure of a young man, comely and well-favored. And he approached Yitzhak and said unto him, Do you not know and understand that your old silly father brings you to the slaughter this day for naught? Now therefore, my son, do not listen nor attend to him, for he is a silly old man. And let not your precious soul and beautiful figure be lost from the earth. And Yitzhak heard this and said unto Avraham, Have you heard, my father, that which this man has spoken? Even thus has he spoken. And Avraham answered his son Yitzhak and said to him, Take heed of him, and do not listen to his words, 
nor attend to him, for he is Satan, endeavoring to draw us aside this day from the commands of Elohim. And Avraham still rebuked Satan, and Satan went from them, and seeing he could not prevail over them, he hid himself from them. And he went and passed before them in the road, and he transformed himself to a large brook of water in the road. And Avraham and Yitzchak and his two young men reached that place, and they saw a brook large and powerful as the mighty waters. And they entered the brook and passed through it, and the waters at first reached their legs. And they went deeper in the brook, and the waters reached up to their necks, and they were all terrified on account of the water. And while they were going over the brook, Avraham recognized that place, and he knew that there was no water there before. And Avraham said to his son Yitzchak, I know this place in which there was no brook nor water, now, therefore, it is this Satan who does all this to us, to draw us aside this day from the commands of Elohim. And Avraham rebuked him and said unto him, Yahuwah, rebuke you, O Satan. Be gone from us, for we go by the commands of Elohim. And Satan was terrified at the voice of Avraham, and he went away from them, and the place again became dry land, as it was at first. And Avraham went with Yitzchak toward the place that Elohim had told him. And on the third day, Avraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place at a distance which Elohim had told him of. And a pillar of fire appeared to him that reached from the earth to heaven, and a cloud of glory upon the mountain, and the glory of Yahuwah was seen in the cloud. And Avraham said to Yitzchak, My son, do you see in that mountain, which we perceive at a distance, that which I see upon it? And Yitzchak answered and said unto his father, I see, and lo, a pillar of fire and a cloud, and the glory of Yahuwah is seen upon the cloud. And Avraham knew that his son Yitzchak was accepted before Yahuwah for a burnt offering. And Avraham said unto Eliezer and unto Yishmael his son, Do you also see that which we see upon the mountain which is at a distance? And they answered and said, We see nothing more than like the other mountains of the earth. And Avraham knew that they were not accepted before Yahuwah to go with them. And Avraham said to them, Abide ye here with the ass, while I and Yitzchak, my son, will go to yonder mount, and worship there before Yahuwah, and then return to you. And Eliezer and Yishmael remained in that place, as Avraham had commanded, and Avraham took wood for a burnt offering and placed it upon his son Yitzchak. And he took the fire and the knife, and they both went to that place. And when they were going along, Yitzchak said to his father, Behold, I see here the fire and wood, and where then is the lamb that is to be the burnt offering before Yahuwah? And Avraham answered his son Yitzchak, saying, Yahuwah 
has made choice of you, my son, to be a perfect burnt offering instead of the lamb. And Yishach said unto his father, I will do all that Yahuwah spoke to you with joy and cheerfulness of heart. And Avraham again said to Yitzhak, his son, Is there in your heart any thought or counsel concerning this which is not proper? Tell me, my son, I pray you, O oh, my son, conceal it not from me. And Yitzhak answered his father, Avraham, and said unto him, O oh, my father, as Yahuwah lives, and as your soul lives, there is nothing in my heart to cause me to deviate either to the right or to the left from the word that he has spoken to you. Neither limb nor muscle has moved or stirred at this, nor is there in my heart any thought or evil counsel concerning this. But I am of joyful and cheerful heart in this matter, and I say, Blessed is Yahuwah, who has this day chosen me to be a burnt offering before him. And Avraham greatly rejoiced at the words of Yitzhak, and they went on and came together to that place that Yahuwah had spoken of. And Avraham approached to build the altar in that place, and Avraham was weeping, and Yitzhak took stones and mortar until they had finished building the altar. And Avraham took the wood and placed it under, rather placed it in order upon the altar which he had built. And he took his son Yitzhak and bound him in order to place him upon the wood which was upon the altar, to slay him for a burnt offering before Yahuwah. And Yitzhak said to his father, Bind me securely, and then place me upon the altar, lest I should turn and move, and break loose from the force of the knife upon my flesh, and thereby profane the burnt offering. And Avraham did so. And Yitzhak still said to his father, O oh my father, when you shall have slain me and burnt me for an offering, take with you that which shall remain of my ashes to bring to Sarah, my mother, and say to her, This is the sweet-smelling savor of Yitzhak. But do not tell her this is, tell her this if she should sit near a well or upon any high place, lest she should cast her soul after me and die. And Avraham heard the words of Yitzhak, and he lifted up his voice and wept when Yitzhak spoke these words. And Avraham's tears gushed down upon Yitzhak, his son. And Yitzhak wept bitterly, and he said to his father, Hasten you, O my father, and do with me the will of Yahuwah Eloheinu, as he has commanded you. And the hearts of Avraham and Yitzhak rejoiced at this thing which Yahuwah had commanded them. But the eye wept bitterly, while the heart rejoiced. And Avraham bound his son Yitzhak and placed him on the altar upon the wood. And Yitzhak stretched forth his neck upon the altar before his father. And Avraham stretched forth his hand to take the knife to slay his son as a burnt offering before Yahuwah. At that time, the angels of mercy came before Yahuwah and spoke to him concerning Yitzhak saying, O Yahuwah, you are a merciful and compassionate king over all that you have created in heaven and in earth, and 
you support them all. Give therefore ransom and redemption instead of your servant Yitzchak. And pity and have compassion upon Avraham and Yitzchak, his son, who are this day performing your commands. Have you seen, O Yahuwah, how Yitzchak, the son of Avraham, your servant, is bound down to the slaughter like an animal? Now, therefore, let your pity be roused for them, O Yahuwah. At that time, Yahuwah appeared unto Avraham and called to him from heaven and said unto him, Lay not your hand upon the lad, neither do anything unto him, for now I know that you fear Elohim in performing this act and in not withholding your son, your Yahid, from me. And Avraham lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, a ram was caught in a thicket by his, thor- by his horns. That was the ram which Yahuwah Elohim had created in the earth in the day that he made earth and heaven. For Yahuwah had prepared this ram from that day to be a burnt offering instead of Yitzchak. And this ram was advancing to Avraham when Satan caught hold of him and entangled his horns in the thicket, that he might not advance to Avraham in order that Avraham might slay his son. And Avraham, seeing the ram advancing to him and Satan withholding him, fetched him and brought him before the altar. And he loosed his son Yitzchak from his binding, and he put the ram in his stead. And Avraham killed the ram upon the altar and brought it up as an offering in the place of his son Yitzchak. And Avraham sprinkled some of the blood of the ram upon the altar, and he exclaimed and said, This is in the place of my son, and may this be considered this day as the blood of my son before Yahuwah. And all that Avraham did on this occasion by the altar, he would exclaim and say, This is in the room of my son, and may it this day be considered before Yahuwah in the place of my son. And Avraham finished the whole of the service by the altar, and the service was accepted before Yahuwah and was accounted as if it had been Yitzchak. And Yahuwah blessed Avraham and his seed on that day. And Satan went to Sarah, and he appeared to her in the figure of an old man, very humble and meek. And Avraham was yet engaged in the burnt offering before Yahuwah. And he said unto her, Do you not know all the work that Avraham has made with your Yahid this day? For he took Yitzchak and built an altar and killed him and brought him up as a sacrifice upon the altar. And Yitzchak cried and wept before his father, but he looked not at him, neither did he have compassion over him. And Satan repeated these words, and he went away from her. And Sarah heard all the words of Satan, and she imagined him to be an old man from amongst the sons of men, who had been with her son, 
and had come and told her these things. And Sarah lifted up her voice and wept and cried out bitterly on account of her son. And she threw herself upon the ground and she cast dust upon her head. And she said, O oh, my son, Yitzchak, my son, oh, that I had this day died instead of you. And she continued to weep and said, It grieves me for you, O oh, my son, my son, Yitzchak, oh, that I had died this day in your stead. And she still continued to weep and said, It grieves me for you. After that I have reared you and have brought you up. Now my joy is turned into mourning over you. I that had a longing for you and cried and prayed to Elohim till I bore you at ninety years old. And now have you served this day for the knife and the fire to be made an offering. But I console myself with you, my son, it, in its being the word of Yahuwah, for you did perform the command of your Elohim. For who can transgress the word of our Elohim, in whose hands is the soul of every living creature? You are just, O Yahuwah Eloheinu, for all your works are good and righteous, for I also am rejoiced with your word, which you did command. And while my eyes weep, rather, and while my eye weeps bitterly, my heart rejoices. And Sarah laid her head upon the bosom of one of her handmaids, and she became as still as a stone. She afterward arose, rather rose up and went about making inquiries till she came to Chevron, and she inquired of all those whom she met walking in the road, and no one could tell her what had happened to her son. And she came with her maidservants and men servants to Kiryat Arba, which is Chevron, and she asked concerning her son. And she remained there while she sent some of her servants to see where Avraham had gone with Yitzchak. They went to see him in the house of Shem and Eber, and they could not find him. And they sought throughout the land, and he was not there. And behold, Satan came to Sarah, in the shape of an old man. And he came and stood before her. And he said unto her, I spoke falsely unto you, for Avraham did not kill his son, and he is not dead. And when she heard the word, her joy was so exceedingly violent on account of her son that her soul went out through joy. She died and was gathered to her people. And when Avraham had finished his service, he returned with his son Yitzchak to his young men, and they rose up and went together to Be'er Shiva, and they came home. And Avraham sought for Sarah and could not find her, and he made inquiries concerning her, and they said unto him, She went as far as Chevron to seek you both where you had gone, for thus was she informed. And Avraham and Yitzchak went to her to Chevron, and when they found that she was dead, they lifted up their voices and wept bitterly over her, and Yitzchak fell upon his mother's face and wept over her. And he said, O oh, my mother, 
How have you left me? And where have you gone? Oh, how, how have you left me? And Avraham and Yitzchak wept greatly, and all their servants wept with them on account of Sarah, and they mourned over her a great and heavy mourning.